we're talking about linear and quadratic systems and inequalities, lesson number two, we're going to solve a system of quadratic quadratic equations. Now when we're talking about quadratic quadratic system of equations, we're talking about a system in which both of the equations are quadratic of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So consider the equations that we have here. We have a system of equations. The first equation, y equals 6x squared plus 7x minus 4. The second equation is y equals 2x squared minus x plus 1. And we're going to use an algebraic technique to determine the solution to the system of equations. So let's write them both out. We have y is equal to 6x squared plus 7x minus 4. We have y is equal to 2x squared minus x plus 1. And we have our two our two equations. So we can call this equation 1, we can call this equation 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to isolate one of them so that we can, since this y equals 6x squared plus 7x minus 4, this y also equals 2x squared minus x plus 1. That means since y is this itself, since y is, it, is itself, yeah. Since this y is equal to this y, then we have this equals this. So we can say then that 6x squared plus 7x minus 4 is equal to 2x squared minus x plus 1. In this case, then now we have one equation here that we can solve. So subtracting this 2x squared, we will get 4x squared plus 7x minus 4 is equal to negative x plus 1. Continuing that, we'll get 4x squared plus 8x because we added an x to both sides. And then we can subtract 1 as well. We have minus 5. This is equal to 0. So 4x squared plus 8x minus 5 is equal to 0. Once we have this, we have a quadratic equation that we can solve. And so this is, we could use the quadratic formula if we wish and we would find um, that we can get some answers, or we can factor this. We can say, well, if we find a times c is negative 20, and it needs to add to be positive 8, we can say this is positive 10 and negative 2. And so now we can split this up. We can say 4x squared plus 10x minus 2x plus 8, and here we have, oh sorry, this is minus 5, minus 5. And so we can factor this here by grouping. We can say that this is 2x times 2x plus 5 minus the whole thing, 2x plus 5. Since we have that both in brackets here, we can say this 2x plus 5 in brackets is multiplied by 2x minus 1. Again, remember this equals zero. So now that we have it in factored form, we can use the zero product law and say, well, 2x plus 5 can, has to equal zero. So then x will equal negative 5 over 2, or 2x minus 1 equals zero. So 2x minus 1 equals zero means 2x is equal to positive 1, which means that x is equal to 1 over 2. So we have these two solutions. We have either x equals a half or x equals negative 5 over 2. Now when we use these values then we can go back and use either one of these to find the y value. So here let's say when x equals 1 half then we can use, let's use equation 1, we can say that the y value is going to be equal to 6 times 1 half squared plus 7 times 1 half minus 4. This is going to be 6 times 1 quarter plus 7 over 2 minus 4. And we get this is going to be 6 over 4. 6 over 4 plus 7 over 2 minus 4. And let's see, you get a common denominator here. 6 over 4 plus 14 over 4 minus 4. This is going to be equal to 
20 over 4, that's 5 minus 4, and that's equal to 1. Ah, so we found then that when x is equal to half y is equal to 1. Uh, let's see, when x equals, when x is equal to negative 5 over 2, we can use the same, same concept. I'm going to put a line here just to separate it. So we can say this is going to be 6x x squared negative 5 over 2 squared plus 7 times negative 5 over 2 minus 4. This is going to be 6 times 25 over 4 plus negative 35 over 2 minus 4. If we continue that right here, we're going to get 6 quarters. That's 150, right? 150 over 4 minus 70 over 4 minus 4. This is going to be 20 minus 4, which is 16. And so we found our solutions then. When we, when we look at it, we're going to have these points of 1 half and then 1. And the other one is going to be negative 5 over 2 and 16. All right, we're going to sketch these equations on the graph and use a graphing technique to determine the solution of the system. And we're going to also state an appropriate window here. So what I'm going to do is just grab a graphing calculator and we'll, we'll show how we get that solution. Okay, I have my graphing calculator now. I'm going to put in both of these into my graphing calculator for y1. I'm going to make this 6x squared plus 7x minus 4. In my y2, I'm going to make this 2x squared minus x plus 1. And then I'm going to graph and see if I can find something here. So I have this weird looking graph. And let's actually do a zoom 6 to get to a standard zoom to see what it looks like. We have that and we have that. So it looks like there's one up here and since algebraically we found that the y value was 16 I'm going to cheat perhaps a little bit and make the the y, y maximum I'll make it twice as high so in 32 and make that maybe a little bit lower and uh, let's just bring this in and see what that looks like. Okay, there's one there and there's one there. And since this is I can this is a little skinny looking, so I'm gonna just change the x the x minimum and x maximum here. And uh, now we have a better looking graph. It fills up my the screen a little bit better. So we can see there's one point there and there's one point there. So let's try and find those points. We can say second trees. Find the intersection, first curve, second curve. The guess, let's see what it comes up with. Ah, 0.5 and 1. Remember, we found that x was equal to a half when we did it algebraically, so that makes, seems to make sense. Let's do that again to try and find the other one. First curve, second curve, and the guess is going to be over here on the negative side. Make the guess close to that point there. And ha, ah, negative 2.5 which corresponds with our negative 5 over 2. Negative 5 over 2 is negative 2.5, and the y value is 16. I'll get that calculator out of the way. So we can find here then, we can say when our window was x min being negative 5 to 5 inclusive, and then our y, our y values were from negative 5 to 32, then we found out our graph kind of looked like this, you can see. And so here with this, so we'll just kind of sketch it a little bit, see what we can do. Kind of looks something like that. And then here at that point, and here at that point. So you can see there's one there, and there's one there. All right, so we found that one solution was there's 0 0.5 and 1. Our other solution was negative 2.5 and 16. 
but that corresponds with our fraction answers here. 1 half is 0 0.5, negative 5 over 2 is negative 2.5. So we're going to verify that the solution obtained satisfies both equations. Well, how do we do that? We could, well, actually, we did it up here already. So uh, we're going to test these ones. If we were to put, you know, for both equations, we, we tested it for for the first one up here. So let's just try it using the second one. 2x squared minus x plus 1. That's y equals. So let's test it for the first one. So if y was 1, then 2 times 0 0.5 squared minus 0 0.5 plus 1. Let's see what that is. Uh, the left side is equal to 1. The right side is equal to this. 0.5 squared, 0.5 squared is 0.25. 2 times 0.25 is 0.5 minus 0 0.5 plus 1. Okay, it equals 1, and therefore the left side equals the right side. Okay, let's try it for the other one. Here we have the left side then is equal to y, which is equal to, in this case, we'll say it's 16. And the right side is equal to our 2 times x squared, and so here we said is negative 2.5 squared minus 2 point, negative 2.5 plus 1. We see that. And then here we have negative 2.5 squared is going to be 2 times 6.25 minus minus, so that's a plus now 2.5 plus 1, and times 6.25 times 2 is 12.5, plus 2.5 plus 1, 12.5 plus 2.5 is 15, plus 1 is 16, hey yes, the left side equals the right side. And we did that, uh, we can also do that here for the top one, but you know, trust me, I, I think if we went through it, uh, we did it using just the first equation to get the first one, and now we did it again for the second equation. Alright, so you're ready for your assignment. Remember that there is a couple of ways that you can do these questions. Any of these quadratic, quadratic system of equations, or any system of equations for, for that matter, you can use your graphing calculator to give you an idea of what you might find. And here with a quadratic, quadratic system, you can use your graphing calculator first to find these values, and also an algebraic method to verify as well as use the algebraic method and see if your answer is correct. Of course you might verify but sometimes when there's fractions um, graphing calculator is very nice to help you to to zone in on what the the answer is. Alright so you're ready for your assignment and I will see you in class.